Ready to start using Kotlin within your Android projects? But maybe you have a few questions. How do I start a new project that supports Kotlin? Do I have to configure the language in any way? Do I have to add any dependencies? These are all great questions, and thankfully a lot of this is handled for us. And so in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to create a new Android Studio project that supports Kotlin. We'll start off by creating our new project. I'm using Android Studio version 3.1.2, but it should be very similar for all versions greater than 3.0. Open up Android Studio and select Start a new Android Studio project. After filling in the application name, domain, and location, you'll notice at the bottom there is a checkbox to include Kotlin support. We want to make sure this is selected. With this selected, Android Studio will do all of the work for us to set the project up to support Kotlin. Next, choose whatever form factors and APIs you want to support. Kotlin should work on them all. Next up for this example, we'll select Empty Activity and hit Next. We'll fill in the activity and layout name and hit Finish. Awesome, and that's it. You now have a Android Studio project set up ready to go for you to start writing Kotlin code. So Android Studio set the project up to support Kotlin for us. This is great. But now let's dive a little bit deeper and see just what that means so you understand what was added to the project. We're going to start by opening up the project level build.gradle file. Inside of this file are two Kotlin related items that we want to take a look at. The first is at the top of the build script section, and this defines the version of the Kotlin plugin that we're going to be using. So in this case, that version is 1.2.4.1. That version variable is then used below in the dependencies section to define the full version of the Kotlin plugin for Android Studio. Next up, we're going to open up the app level build.gradle file. Within this file, we'll notice three things. We include the Kotlin Android plugin. We also include the Kotlin Android extensions plugin. And if we scroll down to our dependency section, we'll notice that we include the Kotlin standard library as well. The Kotlin plugin is what allows Android Studio to recognize and support the Kotlin programming language. Now this plugin should be bundled with Android Studio starting from version 3.0. This means that like in this project, if you're creating a new Android Studio project, you shouldn't have to worry about manually adding this plugin. The Kotlin Android Extensions plugin that was also added for us provides additional Android-specific functionality on top of the standard Kotlin plugin. You can check out the documentation page for the Kotlin Android Extensions plugin to view a full list of the features that it provides. Now, it provides a lot of interesting functionality, but if you're just starting out with Kotlin for Android, you might want to hold off on diving too deep into some of these features. Now let's take a look at what Kotlin support within Android Studio looks like. Right click on your directory, select File, and you'll then notice that there is a Kotlin file or class option. If you click on that, you're presented with this dialog where you can then create a new Kotlin file, class, object, etc. We can then enter a name for our class, select OK, and we will now have a shiny new Kotlin class in our code base. But what about existing Android-specific templates? Well, if we select Activity, and then to create a basic activity, we can enter in the activity info. And when we're done with that, we'll notice a drop-down towards the bottom that says Source Language. If we select that, we'll notice we can change that from Java to Kotlin. If we then hit Finish, the generated activity will be 100% in Kotlin. code lives within the same directory as the Java source code. If we go to our project pane, 
and change from Android view to project view so that we get the full directory hierarchy. We see that all of the files are within the same directory. This means we can put all of our code in the same top level directory regardless of the language. Hopefully this has shown you that it's not that hard to jump in and start exploring the language today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Mm -hmm.